This video will show you how to find descendant articles, or research that's come as a result of prior research within the field. I'm back in my PsycInfo database, and I'm running a search using my index term, animal-assisted therapy, stress, and college students. Notice as I scroll down on some of these results, we have a couple of links that are below the subject terms here, such as result number four, evaluating college students' interest in pet therapy. I see uh, two links here, cited references and time cited in this database. The cited references refers to the ancestor articles, all the references that these authors cited while they were actually writing their research paper. But the time cited in this database is a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. What this is referring to is the number of times the specific article evaluating college students' interest in pet therapy was actually cited by other articles. So it's articles and information research that was done after this particular one. So you might see that these are the children of this particular article or the descendants of. And by looking at the descendant articles, we can see what research has come as a result of the information presented by these researchers. But notice not every single article that we look at in our PsycInfo search results have those links to cited references or time cited in this database. What do you do then? Here's a chance where we can leverage Google Scholar to help us out. I'm gonna go back to result number 10 that we saw in our ancestors video, petting away pre-exam stress, the effect of therapy dog sessions on students' well-being. I'm gonna go ahead and click into the article again. This time what I wanna do is copy the full title of this article. And on a new tab, I'm going to open up scholar.google.com. Google Scholar is sort of like Google's version of a database. It's attempting to connect you to more reputable information, weed out some of that internet chatter, such as blogs and popular press newspapers and things like that, and really focus in on research that's coming from academic institutions or scholarly publications. We still have to be careful when we're using Google Scholar because not everything is a peer-reviewed article, but we can get close. In my Google Scholar search, I'm going to go ahead and type in the title of that article we were just looking at in our Psych Info search, and I'm going to go ahead and click search. When we search in Google Scholar for an article title, one of the first things that will come up is the publisher's website. Let's take a look at this. I can see we're searching on Wiley Online, which is a popular publisher of academic journals within the journal Stress and Health. This looks really similar to the database pages. We've got the title at the top, we have the author, and then we have that abstract that we've been used to seeing here. So we're on the right track with scholarly research. Notice as well that I can actually see a brief description of where the source is coming from, the publishing information. And this short abbreviation here, stress and, is actually the title of the journal. And then we've got this abstract here. So use those cues to help determine whether you are finding scholarly research or not. The most effective and interesting way that we can use Google Scholar is to find descendant articles. And that's what this cited by link is referring to down here. So we know that our article, Petting Away Pre-Exam Stress, was published in 2018. But since 2018, it's already been cited by 36 more articles, which is a lot. Clicking on the cited by link will show us a list of all of those citing resources and we can start to narrow it down and filter which ones might be interested in. To find which one I'm going to click on next, I'm using a combination of the titles of the articles to make sure that it's related to my research topic. So in the case of this one, Therapeutic for All, Observational Assessments of Therapy Canine Stress in an On-Campus Stress Reduction Program, that seems relevant. I like that this article is more recent, it was published in 2019, and it's from the Journal of Veterinary Behavior. So I'm on the right track with finding a peer-reviewed research article. I can click into the title, again, read the abstract, I can even see additional keywords for this article, all things that can help me continue to develop my vocabulary for how I talk about this topic. So this is great. We found even more research and even more current research about our topic. But how do we get access from articles from Google Scholar? You'll notice that when we clicked into the publisher's webpage, we see this link that says get access. But unfortunately, we're blocked by a paywall when we come here. To find out if we have access to this particular article, we'll follow the same steps that we did when we were looking for ancestor articles from someone's reference list. We first want to look up by journal title. So in this case, the Journal of Veterinary Behavior. I'll go back to my library homepage, click on the Journals tab, 
click on search journal finder and type in journal of veterinary behavior and go ahead and click search. Now in this case, sadly, no results were found, which means the library does not have access to this particular journal. So what do you do then? You found this awesome journal from Google Scholar and you really want to use it for your research. You are not out of luck, nor should you ever pay $31 or more for an article. Instead, you're going to use our interlibrary loan service. Once again, return to the library home and under the green services box, you can click on the link that says interlibrary loan. From this page, you're asked to select what kind of interlibrary loan you're looking for. And in this case, you want an article. So click on the article request form. This form allows you to enter information about the article you're looking for, and then we can go ahead and try to find it for you. The first thing that it asks you for is, have you searched journal finder? Yes, we did. We just checked that. And then you can fill in the field. Periodical title is the journal you're looking for. In this case, journal of veterinary behavior. And then the rest of the information on this form is exactly found on that publisher's website that we're looking at. So we can copy all the names of the authors, put them in the author field, copy the name of the title, put it in the title field, and so on. Volume, date range, and our page numbers. Complete the form by saying the date that you need it by, your name, email, and your barcode number. Click submit and we'll try to track it down. It will be emailed to you as a PDF when it comes here. So look carefully through these results that you're getting through Google Scholar. Pay attention to the sources or journal where they're coming from and the publisher that they're coming from and see if you can locate descendant articles for your topic.